Hi everyone, um, I've been asked to show how to create a cut like when I did the werewolf laceration but without using um, scar wax. So I'm going to have a go at doing it with just tissue paper late and latex. First of all you want to separate the tissue paper into the layers because you want little thin layers of tissue paper at a time. Rip it into strips like that and make sure the edges are all fuzzy you don't want straight edges because it doesn't blend in very well if you do it that way so it's little fuzzy strips like that and what I'm going to do is just take a little glass dish and put some latex in you don't need a lot and I'm just going to apply a line of that down my face like so and then stick the tissue paper on top get it as flat as you can and then cover that in another layer of latex Just go over the edges, get your edges as thin as you can and make sure they're all stuck down like that. You can just do this by building up layers and layers of latex but that will take you ages. This is just a bit quicker way of doing it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a third layer of tissue paper and then I'll come back and show you what to do next get a little hole started in the latex I'm just creating a pocket with my hair clip and then get a small pair of scissors if you can find your scissors so carefully snip the latex with the scissors, just watch you don't cut your face or anything. All I'm doing is I've peeled up the latex and I'm just snipping with my scissors create a cut what you need to do first of all is take a foundation and whatever matches goes with your skin tone and this is actually a bit darker than my my skin tone but that will help get rid of the white of the tissue Then I'm going to add a layer of powder Then I'm going to take a matte eyeshadow palette and use a red brown colour. I'm going to go over the top of that.
blend the edges out a little bit just like that so far doing it this way isn't perfect it's not going to be perfect when it blends in or anything and just go over with a bit more face powder Really try and get rid of the white of the tissue paper. And also make the area look red and salt. I'm going to take another layer of face powder to the top of that. And I'm just going to use a little plastic spatula just to lift up the edges. And then inside the cut, I need to paint, um, colour that in black. So I'm going to have to ho hold open the edges and colour that all in. Like that. Make sure you colour the inside of the latex as well. This will all be covered in fake blood anyway, but it just makes it look darker and it'll stop the latex standing out through the the blood. And then just push that a bit closer together. It'll help when I've got the fake blood on it won't stick up so much. But if you find you've peeled it open a bit too wide, you can always put a little dab of latex on just to reclose the gap. Then what you need to do is take your fake blood. I'm just using this one because I want to use up the bottle because it's getting old. If I can. Do I need something to put it on? Gonna squeeze that out onto a lid and take a really thin tiny brush. I'm gonna paint that on the inside of the wound first. I know it seems like I'm using a ridiculously thin brush for this job, but it gives me more control over where the blood goes. Cover all that black area in the fake blood. And then I'm going to use the stickiness of the fake blood just to close the wound a little bit. Still looks quite big. Oh, hold on. Which. So 
sorry my back's aching like that and then you can add as much or as little fake blood as you want um, I'm going to add some dripping at the bottom And obviously with a cut like this you would have a lot more fake blood but you just apply as much or as little as you want. I'm doing this more to show you how to make the wound not cover it all in fake blood plus I've got to wash this off um, so I can do another look so I don't want to put too much fake blood on because it is a bit of a, a git to wash off. But that's it, that's how you can create a laceration across your face using latex and tissue. And then if you're doing, um, if you want to do the werewolf laceration look that I did using this technique, you just repeat this technique th three or four times across the face to create the werewolf laceration in tissue paper. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you to whoever requested this. I can't remember your username off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.